Welcome to Waffle TV sponsored by West. I'm Olivia Cowan and we are here at Assembly with the boys from Briefs. Hello. How are you all doing? Hello. Ruffle. So you've got a show on at the moment called, oh my god it has just slipped my mind completely, The Second Coming. I don't know how that happened in my head. The Second Coming. Can you tell us what we can expect? Well, it's still uh, like the original show, like the first show. Mm -hmm. It's still uh, all vaudeville, all male and all trash. But um, yeah, this time we, we thought we should come back with something new yeah. um, to this side of the world. So, very much so uh, riddled with amazing circus, um, glamorously trashy, silly, irreverent. Um, uh, we've got a whole heap of new, of new group acts, so we've got lots of new fans. Not um, fans as an audience, fans as in we've got to be fan of fans. <laughs> we're, still, we're still trying the to sort them. The fans are awesome though. We're they so, are yeah, people. we're starting to sort them out. Um, and yeah, this is uh, one of the costumes um, uh, from the show. We do a, a beast in show act. Yeah. Um, three trannies and their uh, three tranny trainers and their three dogs. Um, yeah, so uh, and Dallas here uh, has um, designed the show. So a lot of a lot of the fashion is looking amazing thanks to Dallas's pen and paper. Um, yeah, so the show is still is still nice and silly, and uh, and I guess this the difference with this second album of ours is that we we got a little bit of support for the first time. <laughs> Our second album, we got a bit of um, funding in Australia to, to develop this new work. So aside from the costumes and the acts, like it's still I guess we'll be doing so many interviews. It's like uh, you know, it pays homage to the history of circus. Um, it um, the extravagance of burlesque and. Um, and the comedy and storytelling of drag, I think, is you know the three kind of things that we all, mm. are all really interested in playing around with. Um, we've got big fancy new bird bath, big Ooh. opening, uh, big closer to the show, big opening to the show. <laughs> we've got four new boys, so we have four new boys. two of the original cast, and then we have four new ah. fellas. So Louis Biggs, Evil Hate Monkey, <laughs> Dallas Della Force, and Ben Lewis. Uh, the new. New, new kids on our block, which is, has been amazing, and it's um, no you briefs know, boys. No briefs boys. So, what does it take to be a briefs boy? What kind of skills do you need? Uh, well, I guess it's a bit of a mix of skills, really. So, some kind of skill. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. With some kind of <laughs> does amazing skills in costume You're making and performance art and stuff like that. We're all kind of really diverse, and that's kind of part yeah. of what makes it really good as well. It's mm -hmm. a bit of a, a real mashup of going like this thing and that thing and that circus thing and let's costume it like this and kind yeah, of throw yeah. that into the mix. Yeah, it's um, a great mix of um, skills and shticks. And, mm. and, and I think it's also really important to get the, uh, I guess Mark and I, um, when we were talking about finding new performers to come and play with, it's, it's not just about booking a, uh, an artist for a, a certain amount of time, we're really interested in getting people to come and collaborate with us. Mm. So it's always about getting the right ingredients of, of performers mm. and personalities and it's all about, you know, we really operate as a family because we can't afford to be a big hardcore company. We're, we're very much so an artist driven collective. So all, each of us, um, when we were talking and, and workshopping the idea about new performers, it was really important to get the right combination mm. and, and that's on and off stage, the right combination of, of skills and and creativity is a massive part, like, you know, so many people going, oh, you can't get anything, drag queen, and I was like, well, we're not just drag queens, we're a lot more than that, mm. and Dallas is a lot more than drag queen, so. Yeah, it's, it's breaking a, those boundaries, I guess. Yeah, and, and, those. and yeah. never once were we fearful of going, oh, too many trannies in one group, it's going to be a shit fight. I was like, no, it's, <laughs> it's actually really exciting <laughs> to, have, to have this really interesting yeah, combination, um, and we love the idea of these kind of three kind of bent queer drag, gender, gender bent performers and then these equally bent circus performers that are there. So there's kind of, yeah, this, this nice combination. But above all, I think all of the skill and shtick and everything that's involved, there's a certain amount of um, brilliant showmanship in each, yeah. in each boy, I think. Yeah, which yeah. really shines, you know, individually in, in the group. I think that willingness to kind of like put yourself out there and be a little bit silly, which is kind of what I really enjoy about the show. It's kind of coming yeah. from a bit more of a straighter circus so world into fun. this and kind of go, oh, it's really fun just to be a bit stupid and mm. take people on a ride and, mm. you know, not take yourself too seriously, but at the same time being really conscious about what you're putting, what you're witnessing. Yeah. It is much more than just a kind of burlesque or a cabaret. It's visually so striking, the music's mm. great, there's choreography, 
there's this kind of circus type mm. feel to it. It's, it's got a bit of everything. Yeah, it's more of a massive experience, I think. Yeah. yeah That's from the punter's side. Yeah, they do leave quite ecstatic. <laughs> They've had a great, they've had a great journey. I think it's like it's like theatre for the MTV generation. It's like you know, yeah. we yeah. try and keep it punchy. We kind kind of take them on a journey, so it's not like just in your face the whole time. Yeah. There's kind of whimsical moments, moments. moments. There's beautiful moments. There's weird moments. There's there's disgusting moments. Disgusting. Moments. <laughs> <laughs> These two are just disgusting. Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> and like music that people enjoy, and you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's looks always, yeah, and contemporary yeah. culture references. and references that people kind of get and go, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. Different eras of references yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. it's really like yeah. well, through them, isn't it? And it's always, Bruce has always sort of written on um, all that shtick that we've talked about, but also the music, like you're saying, like the soundtrack to the, the show is such an mm. important we've been, we've been combination. We've been busting people, mm. throughout the show. Constantly, yeah. She gives busty a shout out. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got amazing, <laughs> have worked with yeah, an amazing uh, music, music producer, had a musical director who's... <laughs> I wish we could have on tour with us. Mm. Yeah, the Busty Beats, they're rocking it out for us. Mm. Mm. So, so what does the future hold for mm. Briefs? Well, we... Maybe a room there. Yeah, yeah well, uh, yeah. you know, this is, again, like I was saying, this is an opportunity for us to, to showcase the work, and it's a bit of a presentation like, um, opportunity for us. So, aside from being able to experience um, Edinburgh for the month, it's also about us being smart. We're over this side of the world. It costs a lot to get us over here, so we're really kind of working hard aside from presenting the show that we're really proud of, but also getting as many producers and presenters in to watch the show. We'd love to be able to spend a decent chunk of time over this side of the world, and so hopefully you'll um, see loads of us over this mm -hmm. side and the plans to do some touring, a decent amount of touring, and the more we can keep mm -hmm. artists in Australia employed, the better. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from yeah, as long the more we can keep artists employed, like. That's a it's kind of a weird businessy thing to say, but just love the idea that we have twelve on a twelve week tour with a group of friends and um, and amazing workers that are working with us and for us, um, and we all manage to pay out each other. We all manage to survive doing this thing that we all love doing. Mm. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for chatting to us, and you can go to see Briefs. You're until the twenty sixth of August. That's right. And it's ten to eight every night here at Assembly. Um, Brilliant. So we will hopefully come see more of the fake yes. eyelashes and the big costumes. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Thank you so much for having us. Thank on you. Thank you. See ya.